lobby at the health department. Okay. That's it. Okay, so you were recording, but you're upset that employees were recording you on their phone. I'm not upset at all. I just want to have a right to FOIA request those photos. Yeah, eventually, it took about an hour or so. Yeah. But, you know, when Sergeant Harvey first got there, he was trying to intimidate. He was trying to tell me to leave, and I, I, I couldn't, I didn't have a right to do it. He was trying to show me signs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I feel, I feel like he's the one who came up with the name so I could leave. Like, basically, he probably went back there saying, you know what, just get this guy some names so he can leave. And that's precisely what happened, so. But if so, man, that's, you know, that's looking bad for the department. The Tyrant Terminator. going on TTA family back at y'all with another one man today we at the Waukegan Health Department Waukegan Illinois got two things to do today on the to-do list first thing like we always do is conduct these audits make sure they don't you know try to infringe on anybody's rights for recording in public and the second thing we got to do is we got to go ahead and look at, and go follow up on the um on the FOIA request that we put in a few weeks ago if y'all can remember that, with, you know, with the other health department I was at in North Chicago, where the lady said you have to go to Grand and do it there. So this is the headquarters, I guess, that's on Grand. So we're going to go in here and see what's the delay. Why haven't I been contacted? It's been 21 days. Let's go see. No, actually, I got to go to the second floor. It's the second floor where um, they do, like, the, the FOIA requests and stuff. Huh? Oh, well, she didn't want to talk. I'm going upstairs. She just walked away. I can't wear a mask. I, I got a medical exemption. No, I don't. That's that's I, I be protected. I have a right to be protected in my medical uh, my medical uh, conditions. I don't have to show anyone. Okay, yeah. That's okay. Oh, okay, yeah, but you know what? You that man with the YouTube, right? Huh? You the man with the YouTube channel? <laughs> no, man, no. Why? You, why did you, you say that? Because you recording people. Yeah, why did you say that? Are you what? What made you say that? You have a YouTube channel and you recording people. No, nah, I record people, but I mean, what what make you assume that I have a YouTube channel? Well, just assuming for well, today, just just an assumption. No, it's knowledge. Oh, it's knowledge. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, you can't do it because the uh, the guests feel uncomfortable. They don't want you to do it. Yeah, well, we went through this uh, calculus at times. I, I'm perfectly. See, I'm pretty sure you've been to Belvedere. You've been to. Uh, I've been I've been to a calculus of places, so that's how I know I'm know I'm legal to do it. Uh huh. Yeah. So. What I, like I said, like I just told her, I just got to go upstairs and um, uh, see what's the, what the delay with my FOIA request that I put in for a couple weeks ago. It's I mean, been 21 days. If you, if you shut off the uh, recording. I, yeah, no, I can't. I'm, diff I'm documenting what I'm doing today. I can't shut it off. You can't shut it off? No, nah, I can't. you got no mask on, the virus is still out here. And you can, uh, I'm not saying you have it. Of but course you not. You want to pass it along. Yeah, I understand, but I have a medical exemption. Did you read, did you read the, um, the, the, like the law that uh, Governor Pritchford wrote up, the, the, the rule? that he said about masks and people with exemptions and, and, and two-year-olds all the way okay, people with respiratory problems. Yeah, I have a calculus of uh, paperwork on it, but I don't have to show you guys. You don't have to show us? Nah, nah, you know that by law. You know, that's a HIPAA, you know, I have a right to privacy when it comes to medical. You know that. I don't think you can um, enter with it. Just get a mask and go up there. I can't stop you from recording, but you know. I, would, I, can't, I can't, sir, I, I can be honest with you. If I could, I would. I'm, if I could, I really yeah. actually would, but I couldn't, I can't. It constricts, you know, everything in terms of yeah. respiratory and breathing. I don't want to, you know, you guys be calling 911 for the ambulance for me, man. You don't want to do that, do you? No, I don't, don't, <laughs> don't want to do that, but, but uh, right now, it's uncomfortable with you recording. Could you, could you, uh, I would, could you give a call and they'll mail you your information? I, that's, the, that's just it. They were supposed to have been did that. It's been, the law says five to 21 days, and it's been I 21. Think, well, the receptionist has a way of checking and seeing what's going on. Wow. Not, not here, though. I have to go upstairs on the second floor. Okay. That's what it was. That's what's been conveyed to me. Okay, I have to call somebody. We well, go in and do what you got to do. I'm gonna just go on upstairs and 
conduct and do what I got to do. Uh, you know, if they want to see me, uh, just, I'll be on the, I think it's on the second floor, right? Yeah. Second floor, you I, have a YouTube channel, I know you do. <laughs> Can we help you with something? Huh? I can't hear you, man. I'm sorry. Can we help you with something? Um, yeah. I'm, hopefully. Um, like I said, like I told that young lady, she walked away uh, abruptly, uh, real quick. And I'm telling this young man now, I have to go to the second floor to see what's the delay with my FOIA request that I put in a few weeks ago. Do you fill out a form? Yeah, you turned it in and everything. Form? Filled out a form and turned it in. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so and you just want to see the status? Yeah, and plus I'm going to... Um, walk around and document um, and I'm doing a story on this health department as well so I'll be here for a while. Do you have yeah, authorization to do that? Oh yeah, I definitely have authorization for sure. You ever heard of the Constitution, the First Amendment? That's my authorization. Ah, great. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. Well, it's because we, I had to just let you know that mm -hmm. here and there, mm -hmm. there is a registration department. Registration department? We register patients to get their appointments done. Okay. And that should be private because they they also have the right to have privacy. But watch this though. What's your name? My name is Felicitas. Say it one more time for me. Felicitas. I can't pronounce it. I don't want to mispronounce it and, and be disrespectful. That's no problem. But uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I see what you're saying. You're talking about this open area, right? Sure. You guys should section this off if you're going to expect privacy in public because this we is a have, public lobby. We have a cubicles over here. So, oh, so yeah. okay. Well, I won't be getting past it. I'll just stay where the public accessible areas no is problem. at. No Yeah, for That's sure. Right. Okay. okay. All right. So if you're going to the uh, medical records, it's in the second floor. Second floor. All right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right. So uh, I'm going to see uh, see what's the delay with our uh, FOIA request that we put in. <sighs> I also have to give you a mask. I can't wear a mask. Like I just told this young man, I have a medical exemption. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Well, yeah. it's just because this is a... Um, Everybody has to wear it, just in case. I know, but I can't, though. You know, you, you, you know, Governor Pitchford has wrote up, you know, can bills I, and rules. Can I just give you a mask? And it's up you just want me to carry it? Because I can't wear it. A, no oh, well, okay. Yeah, I'll carry it. I mean, just doing my job. Yeah, I'll carry it for you. Right. I mean, there's no problem with that. I just, just so you guys understand that I can't wear it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. So, yeah, go up here and see what's up with the... Um, the foyer, man. I'll be right back with you guys. TTA, TTA gang, y'all stay with me. Let's get it. Hello. Hi. Um, is this where we pick up the um, like foyer request? Um, yeah, we don't have. Let me see. Let me find out. Okay. Okay. Hello. Can you help us get there? Um, that's okay. I'll stand around. That's okay. Hello. Can I help you? Yeah, I was told to come up here and ask for someone named Jerry Nordstrom. Okay. Is he here? He is here. I well, can go ahead and see. What was your name? James. James. Do you want to provide a last name? No, nah, just James for now. Okay, then we have some seating over there if you would like to have a seat. Mr. Nordstrom? Yes, sir. All right, for sure. Uh, what can I help you with? Um, here's checked on what's the delay with the um, FOIA request that I put in 21 days ago, actually. You left uh, You left it in person at the North Chicago Health Center? That's correct. We don't have a contact information? That you didn't leave an email? I left a phone number. I did leave it. It's, on, it's actually on, the, on the, um, the request itself. Oh, not that... Not that I saw because yeah. there was no address or email, which is the normal way for, and you said in person. Yeah, wrote it in person and put my phone number now for contact. I can if get you, you want to look. Yeah, if you want to look at the copy. No, I can go get you the letter. Uh, we, we have a response letter prepared, but we didn't have a way to get it back to you, we thought. Really? So like, is there a way that you, do you have a copy on hand? Yeah, just so I'll, we can just go, just so we can go over it real quick so you can see that absolutely. the number's on there. Okay, for sure. Great. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. 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 All right. So we're going to see, um, I know I had filled it out anonymous, anonymously, um, wasn't going to put any email or address, anything like that on there. I'm pretty sure I put my phone number though. Pretty sure I put it on there. Uh, well, we'll see. See when Mr. Nordstrom comes back out.
Sorry, it took a minute. We had That's paper, right. paper in the printer. That's okay. Yeah, this is what was faxed to me or emailed to me once you left it the other day. Really? And it says in person, but I don't see any other contact information. Okay. So that's why I apologize. We have the letter ready in the event that you did show up in person. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And, and, and I have the letter. I can give it to you now. Yeah, that'll be that'll be great. Uh, I could have sworn I put a um, phone number on there. Obviously well, just, not. Obviously okay. busy. So well, whatever happened. But I, did, I do remember putting it in person, though. Yeah. So. so that's why I assumed, and I talked to the manager at North Chicago in the event that you showed up there in person. Okay. To ask that you be directed here. Right. Yeah, they keep directing me to Grand. I guess this is headquarters for the FOIA requests and things like that. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I wanted to make sure to be able to get that to you. So, but so what about the materials itself that I requested? Not because that's what does that letter? What does that entail? Here, here's here's the response letter. For okay. You. TTA family, I'm gonna be right back with y'all, man. Uh, let me read this letter and see what's going on. What's your name, sir? Me, I'm Jerry Nordstrom. Uh, no, Jerry Nurser, and uh, uh, what's your position here? I'm the director of business operations and the FOIA officer. Okay, thanks. Now, just real quick, just from reading over this real quick, this is stating that the because all I all I all I really requested was photos and videos that was taken of me personally from North Chicago's uh, personnel that day. But you're stating that the the names on these on this form right here is, does not work for that company. The, the two names that you provided in your write-up uh -huh. are not the names of staff at our location. Okay. So we weren't able to... Even though that it was conveyed to me from the North Chicago Police Department that this was their names that day. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how those names got to you. And, okay. And for, for those to be the ones that you were requesting, but right. those are not names of staff at that site. At that site. Okay, great. You know what? I'll be on my way back over there then. I mean, I, obviously. Well, I mean, it, what, what would we... Because I don't believe we're going to be able to, even if we try and pin down what names you were actually intending to write here, mm -hmm. I don't know that we would be able to or have access to that information anyway as those are on personal devices. Oh, well, see, that's just it. See, that's that's just how it goes. It's, it was a public record uh, created in, in, the, in their official capacity. It was working on the clock as public employees took out a phone while they're on the clock and created a public record by taking video and photos of me. So, is I, I, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Nordstrom, right? Yes. I want to be able to get your name right. I, I try to convey. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to tell you what I think happened. That day I told the North Chicago police, I said, make sure you tell those young ladies that just took that picture to don't delete it. Now, I can show you a video where the young lady said that she was going to deny it anyway. The, the lady that's supposed to be named Selena Gomez here. She told me on camera, I said, I'm going to FOIA request that picture. She said, I will deny it because it's my personal phone. So I tried to convey to them that they shouldn't delete those, those pictures because that means you're destroying a public record. And I think that's a felony, Mr. Nordstrom, respectfully. You're into territory that doesn't come up very often, so I won't pretend to be able to talk to you about that specific concern. Okay. Okay. Um, all I can do is make sure that if we get a request that we try and respond as is required right by law yep. oh, of course Absolutely. well I well you know like i said it's not your fault uh, you, you've obviously tried to do what you're supposed to do um obviously the ball's been dropped over at the north chicago location so well um did, you're welcome did you keep a copy or did you still have a copy uh, of this no i keep it in? yeah yeah I'll keep, i don't know if you took a copy yeah time, so. yeah that's okay yeah i'll keep both of these so yeah just for record just for uh, proof that yeah. it was yeah. filed and, yeah, we, we, we tried to make sure to get it to you, but oh, we yeah. were just waiting in, in the event that you showed up like you did today. Okay, well, I appreciate it, Mr. Nordstrom. Yes. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate your professionalism and trying to help out. And if you uh, have any additional information, we have other FOIA resources, if you would like. And we've been distributing those to, to sites recently. Okay. I could give you that if you wanted to have that information. Um, no, it's, I'm it's pretty... About, it's about how to file and kind of how to more easily access and request information. No, I, I don't think that's necessary. I know it's precisely how to file, okay. but I appreciate the suggestion for sure thanks okay. a lot how you doing all right all righty right. thank you yep yep thank you anything else i can do for you no that'll be it for today all right thank you sir yep you have a nice day yeah tta family so y'all see that man they got they, they gave me a letter man here oh wow stating that um <laughs> those the women that's on this request slip basically on the foyer request here don't even work for that location uh this this i can tell where this is going man y'all stay in tune yeah, TTA family, we back. Back over here at the North Chicago Health Department, man. I can't believe, like I said, man, 
Mr. Nordstrom just told me the, the young ladies don't even work here, so we definitely finna, we finna get down to the bottom of all this. Definitely. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I just spoke with Mr. Nordstrom. Are you yeah. from? Okay. He's, he conveyed to me that when I filled out my FOIA request that day with you guys and turned it in, that the late the names of the young ladies, which is one of them right here that's sitting right here, mm -hmm. they said they don't work here. However, she's right here. So that that I guess that was his reason for not being able to fulfill my request. From my understanding, one of the reasons was you did not put down any information for us to be able to give you the okay. information. There was missing a phone number and I believe an address. I don't have it in front of me now. Okay. And we did not give you the names of the uh, young ladies here. The police officers did. Right, because right? the, they said that they that's what they did. They conveyed their names to the cops that day. I'm going to go get the body cam footage, footage well, as well just to make sure that, that it wasn't, wasn't... Yeah, I wasn't out here for that portion. Okay. But what I do know is that now we have these new cards. So you are able to... You're trying... You want to re-request the information? Um, because that form, I'm assuming right now, was just not... It wasn't a valid form that was filled out. Well, it, it was valid because you can do... You can fill out a FOIA anonymously. You don't have to put down any contact information. That's why if you look at the bottom of the, that receipt... It says I was going to pick it up in person. So, so you get what I'm saying? So I, I don't have. Yes. Okay. So okay. legally I was within. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then this is what I have for you now. So this is how you can submit the information. You can either do the email, fax it, mm -hmm. or call. And this is how you scan the form. Okay. Now this um, can I see this real quick? Yeah, you and can then I can it. keep oh, I can keep a copy yeah, of it. You have okay, it. now this is this is one way for me to um basically file for an additional FOIA, right? right? The, this is three different ways. Okay, three different ways, but also there still is a way for me to do it precisely precisely how I did it in person as well. Still. That's still law as well. That is, I'm not disputing that. Okay. I'm just giving you that. Okay, cool. Well then okay. yeah, I want to be able to fill out another FOIA request for the same additional information. Um, like I said, I need these young ladies' names from that day that took pictures of me with their personal phones and want to okay. request those videos and pictures. Okay, and just one more. Okay. Hello. Okay. Okay, there's your form. All right. Yep, that's exactly, okay, exactly what I need. Now I need the young ladies' names. And that is the young lady that you pointed out right here? Right here? Mm -hmm. And what's her name? Because she took one as well. She took a picture of you? Yeah, with her phone as well. The young lady that's sitting right here in his next cubicle. All right. Excuse me. Georgetta? Yes. Okay. And Nayeli? Nayeli. Nayeli. Okay. All right. So, uh, I don't know how I got Selena Gomez and Maria, but obviously somebody dropped the ball somewhere with that. That's you didn't get the names from us. You, you're right. You, you, you absolutely correct name. about that. You right. did not get the names you're from right. us. You're right. Right. All righty. You want this? Uh, no, I don't need it because I'm, I'm just going to keep it the old okay. school way. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Yep. All right. You too. Yeah, TTA family. So as y'all can see, it's not Selena Gomez and Maria. These are the actual names of the uh, North Chicago Health Department personnel that actually works here at the site. Mr. Nordstrom was right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the North Chicago Police Department and we're gonna request all that footage, that uh, all the body cam footage and all, and matter of fact, even dash cam footage. I want it all from that day. We're going to get down to the bottom of it because it's starting to look like a conspiracy to deny uh, a citizen his, his rights. And if that's so, oh, man, oh, oh, oh man, <laughs> we'll see. Y'all hang on in there.
Let's go. Like I said, I'm back. I'm up here at the North Chicago Police Department, getting ready to man see what's good, man. Oh, uh, I ain't feeling this, man. I really ain't feeling this. We need to see what's good. I need all those officers from that day. I need to speak with them. I need to fill out a foyer. We 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 finna see what's up. How you doing, Sarge? What, what's your name? Ben. Ben? No, I mean, what's your, Sergeant Farso? Fapso. Fapso, okay. Uh, here's, here's, you talking to me or talking to somebody else? Or? I'm talking to you. Oh. Directly to you. Are you recording that? Of course. Oh, well, hang on. Let me turn my hand on. Man, I'm, you know what? I surely appreciate it. Yeah. I imagine this is going to be a hoop. Huh? Man, we, we, we hope not. <laughs> okay. How you doing? How you doing? Officer Crop? Yes, what's your badge number? 73. 73. And what's your badge number, Sergeant? I don't have one. You got a, like, no type of employee, employment number? Or? Yeah, just use 47. That's 47. Uh, is Sergeant Hartman in? Officer Roberts? All. They don't come back till Wednesday, so. Until Wednesday. Uh, whereas there's someone of a higher authority than of, or maybe like a lieutenant I can speak with, even the chief Depends mayor. Depends what you got going on, buddy. Huh? Depends what you got going on. Well, uh, a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago, actually, uh, I was at the North Chicago Health Department and I filled out a FOIA request okay. and uh, Sergeant Hartman was the one that went back there and was supposed to get the names of the personnel that worked there. However, I just received uh, correspondence from personnel and that wasn't that was false names. So I'm thinking that maybe Sergeant Hartman went back there and uh, I don't want to guess, but that's what it's looking like. He kind of made up the names just to get me off of the site. So if that's the case, then that's a conspiracy to deny me my my rights, and I want to be able to follow. Submit a FOIA request. You have Correct. to have accurate information. You can't just make up names. Otherwise, they would send him something back. Well, well, well this was the thing was, I, two young ladies took pictures of me with their personal phones. Okay. I said, Sergeant Harmon, can you go give me their names? So he went to the back and came back with names that nobody with those names exist that worked there. How do you know that? Because I just left there, and that was just confirmed. And they gave me the actual names. So what, what I would need is uh, his dash cam footage from that day and his body cam footage. So I would need to file a FOIA with you guys as well. Is that in City Hall or yeah, in the front there? Yeah, the FOIA request, I think you can actually request online. Uh, yeah. Now, well, I'm doing it in person. I'll keep it the old school way. Yeah, I imagine you can go upstairs. And okay. And then, like I said, I would like to speak with maybe a lieutenant or uh, the chief if he's available. Who's ever available over Sergeant Hartman? With a higher command? Uh, basically, I want to be able to put uh, his superior on notice of what's possibly that he has done. Uh, obviously, it's, 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 it's with the North Chicago Police Department that day and not with personnel over there because they just gave me the actual names, but the names that Sergeant Hartman came out with were false. So, mm -hmm. how did you know how did that happen? Right well, you get uh, what's called a citizen complaint form. Okay. That's the first step in our protocol. Okay. Okay, so give me a well, okay, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, TTA family. So uh, we seeing, man. We're going to see right now, you know, uh, what's good, man. And we can go from there. Victoria, how are you? So. Um, nah, I feel I can feel it out and just bring it back. Because I want to, you know, I don't, I don't really want to. It's kind of premature until I see what's on that body cam footage. You know, so I can know for sure that Sergeant Hartman is the one who made those names. I don't just want to fill it out right now, speculating. You know, that's conjecture. I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to file a, a bogus complaint on him if he didn't do it. But and after after I file this complaint, what what does it go like to Internal Affairs or? IA? Oh. That's the chief's office. Okay, the chief's office. Okay. Everyone out there? No. Yeah, so, um, man, you know, this is crazy, man. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it, man. It's a dirty cop, man. You know, I was. You know, it's crazy, man. You could be respectful, man. You could be, you know, calm, cool, collective, meek, humble. And, you know, and 
it's just looking like, you know, to be perfectly honest with me, man, it's, it, it's just looking like Sergeant Hartman is the one, man. He's the culprit. He was the, from the beginning. He came in trying to intimidate and everything else, man. So we'll see, man. We'll definitely see. So just confirm. So you went to the health department, right? Uh-huh. Two females to be your picture. You went to Sergeant Hartman, can I have these names? Right. He brought back two names. He brought back two names. He, he, he told me that, yeah. that, obviously, that was the names that was given to him. So, Selena Gomez and Maria, but that wasn't their names. Okay. But he was the only one that was kind of speaking to them. I mean, even Officer Roberts was there too as well. And then you guys have another officer named, uh, he's a Latino guy, like La, 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 La Fuentes or something yeah, like that? Fuente. Yeah, him. Is he, is he in today? He's not. They're, they're a different rotation. So, they're, they're back Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, so that's what, I mean, I can't, I, man, I'm shocked, man, that this is even... A happening, man, with the you know North Chicago police. Like they obviously, you guys were dispatched there because I was recording in public. Okay. They did well, tell. What was the reason you were there for? I was just conducting, just conducting business there. You know, just but I was recording, and uh, that's my First Amendment right to record. Okay. But the personnel didn't know that, so they called you guys, and I guess you guys came there and eventually educated them on that I can. Eventually, it took about an hour or so. But, you know, when Sergeant Harvey first got there, he was trying to intimidate. He was trying to tell me to leave. And I, had, I, I couldn't, I didn't have a right to do it. He was trying to show me signs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I feel, I feel like he's the one who came up with the name so I could leave. Like, basically, he probably went back there and said, you know what, just get this guy some names so he can leave. And that's precisely what happened. So, But if so, man, that's, you know, that's looking bad for this department, man. Especially he a sergeant doing that. That's deep. I know you. You know you probably at a. Uh, you probably like in a pickle where you can't really voice. You know what I mean. Well, I mean. Okay. So I, I, unless I review body cam footage, which I don't have access to. Okay. The upper chain that has access to that. <clears throat> I wasn't there. It wasn't my rotation, so I can't speak on either way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So. Well, we'll just follow protocol at this point. Um, do the complaint. You know what I mean. Right. And go from there. That's all we can do, man. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Do you have a report number from the original uh, original um incident? Report number. I, have, I might have it. I might have it somewhere. Uh, but I mean, I know the date, okay. time. Okay. For the incident. Did they take a report? Were you arrested on it? No, I wasn't arrested. I wasn't what? arrested. They they came and left. That's all. You know, they, it was about an hour or so type of encounter, and they came and left. Okay, what was the nature of the call? Why were we there? Uh, North Chicago personnel called you guys because I was recording in public. Recording in their lobby at the health department. Okay. That's it. Okay, so you were recording, but you're upset that employees were recording you on their phone. I'm not upset at all. I just want to... I have a right to FOIA request those photos and videos. So part of the complaint process is you have this to take care of. I have to do a report as well. That's why I'm asking you know, what the call, the nature of the call was. You okay. know what date it was? Or? It was February. It was February 6th. Okay. Approximately what time? Uh, I don't know. I know it was like uh, maybe an afternoon. I don't know the approximate time. I don't know, it was the 6th of February. Yeah. Yeah. February 6th, 2023, so uh, there's no time on here. There's no, I don't know the exact time. Okay. Go with your first name? Huh? Go with your first name? My first name? James. Well, let me ask you something. You have to you have to fill out a report for for what exactly? Because that's the protocol. If you're going to initiate something that's going to require an internal affairs investigation, but that's just it. That's just it. I'm not I, like I just told that officer. I'm not uh, going to file an official complaint against Officer Har Sergeant Hartman. But you're requesting information contained on body camera and dash cam. Yeah, but you don't need my name for that. You know what I mean? You don't. You don't. You don't need. A, you don't need my name. Say is making the request. I could. I have a right to file anonymous. 
So that's what I want to do. No, but I, I have my protocol that I have to turn a report in so it gets to internal affairs. Yeah, so but we'll what I'm saying is this is premature. But you're, uh, you're making allegations that the information Hartman provided was false. I'm not saying for sure it is until I see the body cam footage. Do you get what you I'm saying? You can't see the body camera footage without the request. And if a you're FOIA making... request, sir. This is a complaint form. Yeah. So it's two different forms. But the FOIA request is going to require your information, your name and stuff. And I can fill it out anonymously. You can. Like I just filled out one at the health department. Yeah, so I don't have Take to. Take that with you. I'm That's exactly gonna, right. I'm not going to do a report. You don't need to. I don't, I don't need you to now right now until we figure out if Sergeant Hartman is, is a tyrant, man. I, I'm thinking he's a tyrant. I mean, obviously, that would, that would be, wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't that be tyrannical behavior? I don't know. It wasn't there. I'm, I'm, well, well, I'm just saying, off of the story that I'm conveying to you, how would, how would, that look, how would you uh, assess it then? Well, considering he had to make a police report, I would consider it to be falsifying uh, official documents. So at that, at that point, I would request your name so I could do an official investigation with internal affairs. Okay. Well, I need to, let me see the footage first. I want to be able to see the footage first. And I don't, like I said, it's conjecture. I don't want to speculate and just say he did something. You know, I'm, 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 I'm a fair guy. I ain't trying to do that to him. But if he did do something wrong, mm -hmm. he's got to be held accountable for that for sure. I agree. So I'm going to go, I'm a request and we're going to look at the footage and then we'll, we'll go from there. Then. All right. Appreciate it, Sergeant. Okay, All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Yeah, so uh, TTA family, man, you know what I'm saying? That dude right there, he seemed like he was trying to get a little antsy about a couple of things, but whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? We finna go over here right now, man, and fill out this foyer, man, and get all this footage, man. I'm, I ain't letting this one go. I ain't letting none of them go, man. Period. Y'all stay in tune with me. How you doing today, man? Is there, uh, this is where we fill out, pick up foyer request forms, right? Well, I, I'm gonna, I can take it with me as well, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah. This for a police report? Um, body cam footage and dash cam footage. Okay. Uh, can I just get one more just in case I mess it up? Appreciate it. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. You too. Need to get one more thing. The name of that other third officer, last name, I couldn't pronounce his name that day. LaQuintis, LaQuintis, something, man. Hey, uh, -oh. Sergeant, I need one last thing. It was, like I said, it was three officers there that day, so I need, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Can you guys write it down for me so I can fill it out on here? Uh, I can. No. I had told him, he, he, he pronounced it pretty good for me. Yeah. Write it down in your form. Yeah, I know I am. I just, I just, I want to. Yep, that's I, what it was. I don't know how to spell it. That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know, just, uh, spell it the best way I can. <laughs> yeah, you got a pen? No, I don't. I, just like, I don't know. You probably, yeah, you can write it anywhere. I appreciate it. And then uh, Officer Roberts as well. Just those three. Yeah. Okay. Um, I appreciate it, Sergeant. Thank you, buddy. Right, thanks a lot. Yeah, TTA family. So, man, yeah, that's what we're doing, man. We definitely finna follow up with this all the way through, man. Finna get this body cam footage, man. We're gonna see what's good. We're gonna see, man. Because, like I said, to me, it's looking like. It's definitely looking like, you know what I'm saying, a conspiracy to deny a person his rights, man. That that alone, man, is, you know, it ain't going to be looking good for this department, man. So for everybody that's new to the channel, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. All the TCA family, man, I love you guys, man. Thanks for all the donations, man. Thanks for the likes, the shares, and the subscriptions. Appreciate y'all, man. I do this for y'all, man. We will not let no one infringe on our rights ever, no more, ever. Go.